Soil tests are mainly used for me to come up with good recommendations uh, for my fertilizer usage, for lime usage, and uh, just kind of see how we're maintaining those soils. The most important things that a farmer needs to sample for, uh, for soybean production, is pH, phosphorus, and potassium. Um, the pH is a measure of the hydrogen ion content in the soil. Soybeans do not like a high hydrogen content, so uh, by uh, sampling for pH and applying limestone when necessary, uh, it's a tremendous benefit to soybeans. Phosphorus and potassium are the two main nutrients that soybeans utilize. Uh, and we need to have sufficient levels of those in the soil for top production of soybeans. When we look at a soil test, the first and one of the most important parts is the soil pH. Soil pH tells you where the range is on the soil. A neutral level would be of seven. We want to be in a six to a seven range. As you can see this test, almost everything is in the correct range. There is one or two that are falling below that, which we'd like to correct that pH with a limestone application. The next column is the buffer pH. The buffer pH actually tells you how many tons it's going to take to correct that situation with the limestone. The next couple of columns are phosphorus and potassium. Those are major nutrients that are important for the development of crops, both corn and soybeans. We look at those ranges and we want to make sure they're falling within a good range. Some of these are actually very, very high. And what that means is when that sample was taken, there's a good chance it was a contamination. So we actually extract those samples, which means we don't figure those into the average of the soil test. We'd like to see the phosphorus numbers fall in that 40 to 45, 50 range. We'd like to see the potassium in the 300 to 360, as high as 400 is very good. Those are some of the main things we look at in the soil test. Now there's some other general ideas we'd like to watch. One, organic matter. You can tell this is a very good farm, very dark soils, because the organic matters are running in the upper threes, and that's where you'll find a good dark soil. Cation exchange, that tells you these nutrients, how available are they, and what's the exchangeability within the soil when you make the applications. The cation exchange rate on this one is 17.8 as a total, and that's a very good uh, cation exchange rate. Uh, lighter soils, sandy soils, clay soils, that'll drop to a 7, 8, 10. We'd much rather see it in a 15, 17 range. If you've had that piece of land for a long time, you've got a history with every time you sample. Because when these guys go back and sample, they're sampling in the exact same spot every time. So what we're doing is we're tracking those exact same areas and looking for trends. Um, we have high yield or are we pulling more nutrients out? We can adjust to that through soil sampling and nutrient application.